Okay. Greetings and felicitations, kind viewers. Welcome back. I am Vormithrax. I am here to kill zombies, or more likely to run away from zombies. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, welcome, welcome, though. Uh, it's my favorite cataclysm time, the new challenge time. Time to, to start a brand new one. Ah, I do like the starts. I always like the starts more than the ends. <laughs> um, what are we doing? Uh, we're, you know, we're playing Cataclysm. I figured I haven't done, I wanted to go back to doing something, you know, stupid hard. And um, I haven't done uh, one of the ultra low hit point runs in a while. So let's go back and do an ultra low hit point run. And we'll combine it with some, uh, some fast footedness and uh, some zany antics and adventures and settings. And we'll see what uh, what develops, or how many times I die. <laughs> it's probably going to be one of those how many times I die situations. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Uh, so what are we playing as folks in chat who can uh, use the command No, We're playing the Road Roller Challenge. I'm going to play the Lab Patient Unwilling Mutant Scenario. I am playing as Meep Meep. That's my name. I am Meep Meep. I'm an adult bird mutant assessed with speed, starting in a cold lab with four strength and ultra low hit points. And we're going to see if we can survive long enough to get a shiny set of rollerblades, finish my bird post threshold, and uh, also learn some kind of an intimidating martial art that meshes well with our, uh, our abilities. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we are meat meat. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I better go get some hot dogs ready. I think, uh, I think we just hit the challenge, didn't we? <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys are going to be around a little while because uh, Flesh for Zombie Dog has been uh, been completed. But uh, he's taking a nap and I'm just starting the stream and I'm not going to interrupt it to go get him his hot dogs. So we'll get him his hot dogs at the uh, at the, the break in the uh, the action this evening. So in, in two hours, he will he will get his hot dogs. Uh, so that's the first of our, our community challenges. Um, uh, we were real close to finishing it up, uh, yesterday. All right, let me get rid of that message. Okay. What else? Uh, that's about it. So here's the character. Now, as I commonly do with this kind of a challenge and with a mutation set up like this, I am going to debug in a bird serum and a syringe right at the start. So we'll, we'll jump into the lab. We'll inject ourselves with bird serum adds an element of, um, you know, zany wackiness. So we might get good, re for good uh, mutations. We might get bad mutations. We'll deal with it. And that'll get us started on our bird journey. Um, we have a couple of traits, like I think quick is part of the bird I, I'm not sure if any of these others are. I, just, I think they get fleet-footed maybe as well. I can't remember the whole the whole bird chain. They do get quick. They don't get fleet foot. They go straight to Roadrunner. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get there. But we're going to start ourselves off with one bird serum, and then everything else after that we have to actually go acquire ourselves. So it's going to be a journey, uh, as always. we got to survive the initial conditions, which are... A laboratory that is frozen. Not the deep freeze one. I just went with the frozen one. And we might have a problem with getting into the game because there are not a lot of frozen labs sometimes when the map gens. And I've had some problems getting it to actually, you know, <laughs> put me in one. So we might have to uh, we might have to restart once or twice to get us into an actual lab. We'll find out. But um, yeah, we got to figure out a way out of the lab. We're going to have stupid low hit points. I think it's 18 hit points is our starting hit points. Something like that. 18 max on all of our body parts. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So that comes from, by the way, four strength, the minimum you can start with, and fragile, the maximum negative to your hit points. Uh, that, that gives you 18. So we're, we're going to get less than that later because we're also going to end up with uh, glass jaw. So our head hit points are going to be even lower than 18. And we're going to end up with hollow bones. We're going to end up with bad back. Um, yeah, so we'll be able to carry about seven pounds of gear. <laughs> Maybe if, if we're lucky, seven pounds we'll be able to carry. And um, yeah, it'll be fun. You know, good times. If you ever want to uh, cure yourself of uh, your, your, your item hoarding addiction, just play a character like this. <laughs> this that'll do it real quick. Or strength. With a bad back and hollow bones, you won't be able to carry nothing. So that'll cure you right quick. One hit kill? <laughs> More like if a hit 
wafts by me, two spaces away, the backdraft of the hit will probably kill me. <laughs> hit adjacent will probably do me in. <sighs> okay. Multi-tool in a fanny pack is enough for any survivor. I cannot disagree with you. I cannot disagree with you. That's pretty good... Uh, Pretty good all-in-one solution for many of the things you might run into. A lot of it's going to come down, of course, to the uh, the lab design and uh, if we're able to get out. I went with uh, high intelligence, high computer skill as my escape strategy. So we're going to hope that uh, we can get into some barracks and into some armories and get us a 50 cal. <laughs> 50 cal solves all problems. So that's, that's the goal is to uh, get a hold of the 50 cal and uh, just blast the front door down. So we'll see if we can manage it. It's going to be rough either way. Um, and the cold might kill us. The cold could possibly kill us if we don't happen to find like a, a, a room with uh, the beds and get blankets and some, some clothing on us pretty quick. Um, depends a bit on how far down it puts us. I'm not sure where it puts us when you do the frozen science lab start. If it puts me in the final. The one map I went into on a test, it didn't put me in the finale room. And I got messages about problems generating, so I'm not sure what the standard is. Feeling pretty hollow-boned and fragile yourself? Not me. I am stuffed full of magical turkey power. <laughs> I have the, uh, the the meat of turkeys flowing through my veins at the moment, so... <laughs> I'm feeling very birdie, but uh, I, I, got, I got some power. Um, what else to talk about? I think that's it. So primary goals, obviously stay alive long enough, find, uh, the, the roller blades so we can be a road roller and, um, then get post threshold bird. And finally find some kind of martial art that's actually ties in well with our abilities. So something along the lines of uh, crane style, Zui Kwan, that, which is the most, the easiest one for me to go get. Um, Zui Kwan will probably be a standard we'll grab if we survive long enough. That will be one we'll get early. And then I, I would love to get Crane. That just thematically and uh, fits well. as, And I think it'll fit well with what we'll end up being once we finish all of our post-threshold stuff. So we'll give it a go. We'll see. I expect some, some, some dying, though. <laughs> this one's going to be rough. This is one of those... Uh, any surprise ends the run kind of things. So I would much rather do crane. The problem is Zui Kwan is just so easy to get because it's, I mean, on 1.0 settings, it's probably like a 75, 80% chance that any recycling center you go to is going to have between one and three copies. So super easy to get that ma that martial art, which is why you see me have it so often usually. Uh, yeah, I would much, much rather get Crane, but, uh, I mean, trying to track down the specific m m martial art that I would like is kind of rough. Uh, anytime I try to pick something like that, the random gen just flips me the bird and says, nope, you shall not have. Um, other things to note, the world settings, I've gone back to my good old days, my kind of my default standard. So we're on uh, double zombies, so we've got twice as many zombies as normal. We got one half the items, 50% items, and I've got an accelerated time frame. Three weeks of evolution have occurred before the game start, and we got Wandering Hordes turned back on. <laughs> so uh, the settings command will, will give you all of that information as well. So I'm not playing my, the last few I've done kind of default worlds, um, friendlier to newer players and more, more reasonable there. But uh, we are going now back to my previous Kind of my standard settings. I use these quite a bit. It's a bit about my comfort uh, zone for the settings that I prefer. So double zombies, half items, uh, accelerated evolution by th uh, several weeks. So we should see some interesting, entertaining, horrifying upgrades, but not be just totally saturated. And then we'll, uh, we also have wandering hordes turned back on. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll see how many coyotes we can get. <laughs> we'll see. We, we can add coyotes to the list. We'll see if we can chase some coyotes down. What I would like to get is I want to be faster than the coyotes so I can melee them. 
they're, they're quick guys, so I'm hoping I can get fast enough that we can we can run them down and take care of some 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 nasty evil coyotes. <laughs> Got you a badge. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and start in. So as I talked earlier, if for folks that are just jumping in, uh, we will be. We might have to regen the map a couple of times to get a valid ice lab to start in. And I will be, once we get in, I'll be gifting or debug summoning in one dose of bird serum to get us started on our bird path. And uh, after that, we have to go find all the tools and all the mutagen materials and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's do it. Let's get things going here before too much more time gets by, goes by. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get one of those YouTube episode one comments. Actual gameplay starts at 10 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, it jumped me right in, so that's good. Pass around. There's the temperature. <laughs> That'll kill me pretty quick, but uh, we, we started in a bedroom. How, how lucky is that? Wow. Wait a minute. We're on the top floor. Wait. No, we're not on the top floor. That's the top floor. We're, we're on the first level. All right, that is a that is a really 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 bad map. <laughs> God, that's a bad map. I love it. You drive up, then you drive around the lab, then you take a bridge, then you you hook a U-turn, and then you take another bridge, and then you get to the front of the lab. <laughs> oh man, map Jen, you put a lot of effort into that one. That is a god-awful map. <laughs> wow. Yeah, started me under the river. I wonder if I pickaxed up with the, with the lab flood. Do we have uh, hydrodynamics in the game now? So we're on the first floor. That makes it a little easier, so it's not super, super cold. The blanket's going to help quite a bit. Uh, so, as you can see from my character sheet and from over here, 18 hit points, that's our max. Uh, it's not going to go higher. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, well, maybe later. But um, stupendously low hit points. I haven't buffed the enemies in any way, just more of them as, as per my normal settings. Uh, and less items, so we'll have a harder time finding the stuff. But other than that, this, this is us. We're overweight instantly. Great. That's fine. Um, anything else to talk about? So we have an effective dodge of 11 in our current condition, which is pretty good. We'll only get uh, one, uh, maybe two dodges around with it the way it drops off after each successive dodge. Um, hopefully we can get that bumped up even further. I didn't have room to keep bumping dodge up. I had to make sure I got computer science to six. That didn't leave enough left over to get dodge as high as I would have preferred. But, eh, what you gonna do? We'll just go find some really ugly monsters and uh, do a skip de doo -dah around them and level our dodge up. Are you there, murder? Alright, so, uh, so for stats, 4, 10, 14, 8, we're going hyper-intelligence, because that's, you know, meep meep. Very dexterous, which will go way dex and perception are going to go way high i think we're going to get like seven perception when we finish post threshold and i don't remember four dex i forget the exact numbers that we end up with after all the mutations um strength though is always going to be low unless we get some other mutation line or we get uh, cybernetics or something uh we're always going to be super low strength so we we'll have to compensate around that somehow um, speed is good. Current speed 110. That's going to take a hit from the cold here pretty quick. We do have all the things I could find and think of that are speed benefits or dex dodge benefits. So fast reflexes, fleet foot, indefatigable, quick, self-aware, and skater. Yes. Unfortunately, I probably won't find rollerblades in the lab. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome if uh, one of the scientists brought their rollerblades in, but uh, probably not. And then we are fragile, which is what's causing our hit points to be 18. The four strength plus fragile gets you this monstrous pile of hit points. And I took self aware. I always take self aware when I play these ultra low hit point characters because the bar system 
isn't good enough. <laughs> At these small numbers, you don't really don't want to be using the bar system. <laughs> There's not enough, uh, not enough variance there for a useful uh, bar system. Uh, and we're also a poor healer, so uh, we'll be slow to heal, which is actually not a bad thing for us. We have so few hit points. Well, that's not true. I have an, another ulterior motive for this run, and that's I wanted to double check if my previous criticisms about the healing system or characters with really low max hit points are still in the game. <laughs> I don't think they've done anything about it. I don't remember seeing anything being done about it, and we'll talk about it when it when it when it becomes obvious. But that's another thing I'm kind of testing out here. So. Yeah, the healing system kind of breaks at extremes of, of, <laughs> of hit points as well, which is the point I'm trying to make. And hopefully I don't have to rant about it again. But um, And I know I'm playing at kind of the extreme edge, but I, I don't like it when the systems don't function at the full range of possibilities. When the systems just flat break, um, there should be some way of modifying them to uh, accommodate the uh, the edges, the edge cases. We'll see. We'll see. I'll talk about it later once we start taking damage and I can explain what's happening and why I think it's an issue. Um, what else? So that's our traits, our skills, none, computer six, and uh, some dodge. That's it. That's all we got. That's what we're stuck with. Hopefully with 14 intelligence, we'll be able to blaze through some of the reading stuff uh, and learning and all that. And I think that's pretty much all we need to talk about. I got no gear or items. We're not going to be able to carry much. And um, that's our really ridiculously bad map. <laughs> that's a terrible, terrible map. Uh... Are there are there even vehicles on the new bridges nowadays? Used to be I would go towards bridges to look for vehicles. But... From memory and traveling over these newer bridges, once they put the uh, the bridgeheads in and go up a level, are there ever vehicles on the bridges themselves now? There probably are, and I'm misremembering, but for some reason my brain is telling me I don't remember seeing vehicles on the raised bridge sections. Which is... Uh, is that intentional? I, I don't mind if it's an intentional, thought-out effect or event. But if it's just totally unintentional consequence of a different change, I want my vehicles back. <laughs> I want the vehicles on the bridges back. They were a valuable resource. And if they just got disappeared because, that's not a good reason. That's the, the same logic that lost us the point of night vision. And um, I, I don't like that. So if anybody happens to know or anybody confirm, are vehicles ever appearing on bridges now? That's a fairly significant, could, could be a significant change in available resources. You've never seen one? All right, so I'm not, I'm not off in my, my, my inkling. <laughs> yeah, if, if it, if it is intended and it's W, uh, if it's, if it's working as intended, then fine. As long as somebody actually anticipated it, thought it out, made a, a specific decision saying, aha, let's get rid of vehicles on the bridges. I'm okay with it. As long as somebody claims that and can, can point to it and, and give me any kind of reasoning or logic behind it. But um, I suspect they're just a random casualty of a change that was made, and um, we lost those resources for, for no reason. What happened to night vision? I don't have any. Why? What about it? <laughs> uh, I got my two spaces. Oh, you mean... Uh, uh, sorry, and now I know what you mean. Uh, so in the good old days, and I, the wiki might still say it, I forget, but night vision used to be very, very simple to calculate. Perception divided by three. That was your night vision. Super simple. You would start with eight night vision, or eight perception, so you'd have two spaces of night vision. If you put one point into perception, you would then have three spaces of night vision, which is a third increase in your vision range. It was really beneficial to try to save a single point, put it into perception, get yourself to nine, Divide it by three, you get three spaces of night vision. It was that way for a very long time. Then somebody <laughs> made changes to the lighting system that had the net effect of reducing the player's vision range, and that was no longer true. Now you have to get to 11 perception to get that third space of night vision. And I maintain it was not a thought out intentional change, it's just the, the lighting system got fiddled with and that has just basically cut off our vision, so. 
I, I, argue, I complain about that semi-regularly. It's another one of those things where I think that uh, a, a separate change was made to fix something totally unrelated, had this effect, and then I can't get anybody to listen to me about it, and I haven't been able to for years. So it's a lost cause at this point. I bring it up, but um, I doubt anybody's going to change it. Nowadays, it'll just get hand-waved and shrugged, and, oh, it's supposed to work that way. Whatever. <laughs> You think they stopped cars on bridges to make sure raised bridges work and potentially not been put back? Could be. It could be they pulled them just to make sure the functionality was there first. I don't know. Like I said, if it's if it's a thought out decision, I'm perfectly fine with them being gone. I just don't want it to be a lost in the cracks type of thing. So if anybody happens to know who who handled that or did that or whatever, feel free to mention it. Um, I just uh, don't like the players to lose resources or agency or systems or abilities as a secondary side effect or consequence to other changes that were intended. So I'm looking out for you guys. I'm, I'm here. I'm here as a protector, <laughs> and I like my stuff. And I like to understand how stuff works. And when you change things and it doesn't work like it used to work, I'd like to know why. All right, so we have briefs in a subject suit. We can carry a max of 64. That's actually higher than I expected, but that's going to go down dramatically as we uh, acquire some of the other mutations, which we might get right here at the start because I'm about to summon us up a bird potion. And um, we're going to take it, and we might get certain traits that uh, screw us even further. That'll be great. That'll be fun. So let's go ahead and uh, disable achievements temporarily if I'd like, but I don't care about achievements. Uh, spawn, spawn an item, yup, disable, bird serum, bird, bird serum. And, um, one bird serum, and then one syringe. Okay, and then we're going to take our bird serum. So this could be good, could be bad. This is our, our random gen start where we throw a little uh, little fizzle into the mix. So for bird, we could get fun stuff like night vision, light step, scout, or we could get fun stuff like glass jaw where my head hit points are gonna drop, nomad where I get unhappy being in one place for any length of time, um, bad back, can't carry as much stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Good times. Let's find out what we get. Ignore. Ignore. We got uh, we got Light Eater, and that was it. Out of a serum. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Damn. A serum gave us Light Eater. All right. I guess that's helpful in the lab. I was hoping for a couple of things. Maybe a bad one or two, and whatever. So that was uh, that was anticlimactic. That wasn't nearly as fun as I was hoping to make it. All right, well, that's all we get. I'll go ahead and ditch this uh, test tube and syringe. We don't honestly own those. And it's time to go. So we heard uh, gunfire somewhere nearby. I wasn't watching where. We are on the first floor, so we need to find the uh, uh, escape. Let's look around here. Oh, vibrator blanket. We're home forever. All right, we're going to wear our blanket. That's going to help. Wow, 94. That's going to kill me real quick. <laughs> so here's the biggest problem with a lab with super low hit points, and it's an ice lab, to try to escape from. I, is It's the head. That's the that's the problem, the head and the mouth. And the mouth counts for head hit points as well. Um, there's damn near nothing you can do to fix that. The blanket won't do it. The blanket's helping the other spots, but the blanket's not going to help the head and the mouth area. That's the hard part. So, it's a, a morale enhancement device. That's that's what we have here. It's a morale enhancement device. It has a, a little bit of battery charge. Sure, I can beat things to death with that. There, we're wielding it. So, only one blanket and a morale enhancement device. So, we're in a one of the 3x3 three three grids. And we've got other things in here with us. No stairs up, but a stair down. Another room. Skirt, uh, maybe. Is that a warmer blanket? Ooh, an electric blanket. Now that's great and all, but like I said, if I can't fix the head warmth, it makes no difference if I have everything else warm <laughs> because we'll die from the uh, head damage.
Oh, I, I know we can find things, but it's down to a lot of luck. There's not anything really quick and simple I can put on my head. I mean, I want a balaclava, but that's going to take time. And uh, I have to raise my skills, I have to find the materials, all that stuff. And um, we're not going to have a lot of time. I mean, that temperature there will kill us in pretty short order. So, that ain't going to happen. I could go up to the top floor. An aboshi? I forget what an aboshi... I black cap! Warmth of four on my head! <laughs> Are we saved? Uh, well, not quite. <laughs> I only need to get 60 more warmth. Uh, not gonna wear the skirt. Another bedroom. This is where the 50% item drop rate rears its very ugly head. So, we got lots of uh, dissectors that we can try to take advantage of. And we've got goo pits. Problem being... I don't know if those sounds are coming from above or below, or, or equal. Where are you? Okay, so we got blobs in the northern room. We don't want to lead them into a goo pit. What do we got over here? Didn't we have noise over here too? Yep, zombies! Zombies already? Uh, those are regular zombies. They will die in the electrical, and I might be able to get some clothing off of them that will help me. So... Grabbed already. So there's our first wound, our first damage. Come on, zombies. That zombie's gonna take a few. Alright, give me something good. Ankle socks, tank top, tights. Well, that's not all that helpful. And a cell phone. I'll take the cell phone. Smash the corpses with my morale enhancement device. Man, that's a really poor selection. Yeah, that is that is terrible. Temp, uh, I think I'm not gonna wear them. I've already got my torso. How are my torso, arms, and legs? Man, these temperatures are whack. That would be the blanket, mostly. All right, well, we had noise coming from the east. I actually want to go east, because that's where I likely the uh, the stairs are to get out. <laughs> um, that's not good. Oh, sludge. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Is it going to explode into uh, the flyers that instantly kill me? Oh, sludge. I don't know if this guy can be killed by the dissector. He doesn't have a problem hitting me. Guess we're gonna find out. Hey you, almost dead. Oh man. <laughs> Need to get him back on the, uh, the dissector. Oh, well we're dead. <laughs> that was bad. We're in the middle of sludge. I won't be able to move. We're going to get broken arms. So this will be our first death. I don't see any way out of this. <laughs> this is just instant death. I should have probably lured him into another room and shut the door. I thought I could get him to move back onto the dissector. Now he's full health again, so yeah, we're dead right here. All right, death number one. Eh, not quite. Now I gotta go into the blob room. And now those body parts that are damaged are even more susceptible to the cold, so they're back into the danger zone, my arms. Will it be death by... Oh, it'll be, it'll be this kind of death. Okay, good start. Uh, yeah, I know this room. Our stamina back. 
<laughs> and the pain, the, the cold is kicking in. We're down to 63 speed. The chill is starting to bite already. And um, massive speed slowdown. We're getting stat loss. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Conference room. Yep, conference room. Nothing useful in a conference room. Water. Another conference room. Not good. Okay, guess we're gonna go this way over here. Uh oh, computer terminals. What kind of room? And this is the uh, containment room? Yeah, containment room. I can't even see the space next to me. <laughs> That's funny. Nothing on the uh, tables. Oop. Wow, that's a total lack. Oh no, this is the um, uh, auto dock. So that's probably a nurse bot in there. Soft robotic voice. Come on, I don't bite. I promise it won't hurt one bit. <laughs> uh, that will not help me currently. We got a lot of noise coming from the direction I want to go. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I don't have another direction I can choose. I can't go south from here. I, if I try to go back this way, got the, uh, the bad guy in there that's going to kill me and all the sludge. I didn't check a door there, but that's the wrong direction. I need to get up a floor, up to the, the top floor, so I don't freeze to death. Yeah, Bishop, wielding his holy miter. <laughs> well, we're, we're not going to be able to move past these things. We're moving at speed 61, so unless that's a containment room and they're trapped in there, this will kill me right here. But I don't see an advantage to going back the other direction. The cold and the damage we've already taken and the, the speed we're at is already going to put paid to this particular attempt. There's going to be a lot of dying in this one. Jeez. I can't even, I can't even see <laughs> what's, what's around me. Can't, can't move. Perception of four. Run mode. Um. Ah, oh, zombie scientist. I couldn't get the door closed in time. Scientist followed me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're, we're dead. No point in continuing. I can't see. It's not going to improve. Temperature is going to get us. We're down to 53 speed. Frozen, frost nipped, bleeding. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, I don't know this. Maybe this one's not going to be survivable. We might have to switch to a regular lab. I'd rather not. I'd rather see if we can do it in a nice lab. Acme Two Reset World New Game Presets Road Roller. Yeah, that uh, that starting mistake I made with the. Let it, or trying to walk back against that uh, view painting is what really crushed me initially. All right, so meet meet the second. Change location, frozen science lab, and back in we go. Hey, this means we get to try the uh, the serum again. <laughs> Rain martial art is what we're going to be trying to get to, but. Uh, it's it's not a common one to find. Spawn, yeah, yeah. Bird serum. 
and oops, orange. Take. Oops. Apparently, I did not summon it. We got rough skin and a beak. Well, that works a little better. So, uh, your arm spasm in an oddly wave-like motion. You gain a rough skin and you gain a beak. You can occasionally use it to peck at air enemies. Impossible to wear mouth gear. Great. That means I'm going to have a problem keeping my mouth warm. And we're going to die of hit head hit point damage because my mouth will be stupid cold. Uh-oh. 101, huh? What kind of crazy map did we get? Eh, not crazy, just boring. And we're two levels down this time. Okay. Ditch the uh, summon stuff. Off we go. Medical gloves. I uh, forget. No warmth whatsoever. Not going to bother. Ooh, nice battery if we can come across anything useful for it. A pencil? We have pencils now? Well, stairs down is not what I'm hoping to find. Hey, there we go. Um, okay, so this is containment. So we should have a room down here with a locker over here. Insecticide. Nothing else. Door to the south. All right, we got to go up a floor. We got to get some of this cold alleviated. Now we're only at negative 65. A former turret room. <laughs> Whoops. Either cyborg, you got nothing I want. And a slime room. Whoa, what the hell? I think I'm going to go east. And look at that. Holy crap. Ta-da! Now it's only old enough to kill me in a long time instead of killing me in a short time. I need to get back down. I need to hope that there's a bedroom in this floor that I can get some blankets from. Come on, bedroom. That's not a bedroom. Come on, bedroom. Again, not a bedroom. Not useful. Not a bedroom. Oh, well. <laughs> I was hoping that would have been perfect. If I had had a bed up here with a blanket, we would have been most of the way to staying alive. All right, that's still too cold. We're still going to end up with chill effects on several body parts. Um, so waiting up here is not really doing me any favors. We're already down to 82 speed. But we're already failing. This is the doctor's room. Yeah. So we might get lucky right here. Bandages. Come on, bed. Newspaper. Come on, bed. Dang it. D3 player I'm not interested in right now. The final room down there has got a, a likelihood of having a shock zombie. I can't afford to try to open that. Damn, still nothing. So, shock zombie or, well, a shock variant, because with evolution on it might have evolved, uh, or one of the crawlers, or what else pops out of there? That's usually the two, the two possibilities. I can't risk it. Uh-oh, well, that's not good. That's not good at all. No, just to get ahead of him. Just far enough to get the door closed. 
we'll have to dodge him or I'll have to get him turned into a could lure him over to the dissector yeah let's do that mode as I also dodge the cyborg God damn it, cyborg! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this. No clothes! Chewing gum and some marijuana. <laughs> That's so helpful. Oh, please tell me I'm fast enough. I'm not. Follow me in here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to look get get this guy off my ass. I'm too too slow now. I can't get a door closed between me and him, even at run speed. That is not good. That is not good at all. There we go. I had to uh, step, then pass around to refresh my movement pool, then sprint a space and close the door so I could get it all done in one move. Sixty two speed. Um, south it is. Oh, and again, now we're down to one space of sight. <laughs> it's so bad. This is going to be so hard to start. If I don't find a blanket right away, it's, it's pretty much a non-starter. The cold is just going to be too devastating. Okay, I know this design. Don't need alcohol. Don't need a toilet. What's in this room? Bathroom with nothing. Bathroom with a light. Nothing. And rubber gloves. They have warmth, right? Ten warmth. Wear them. All right, we have uh, hit the bottom. We are now uh, 25 speed, so we're, we're now moving at one quarter speed. If anything shows up, I'm dead. There's just not nothing I'll be able to do about it. Get a room is useless to me. The, uh... Got rid of the tough zombie. Thaw out at all. Uh, so cold. Head is down to five hit points. <laughs> um, yeah, I might have to switch to a standard lab. I don't think this this one's gonna just be total random. I don't like total random. And that's what this is gonna turn into pretty much immediately. door that way noise that way or hit points on the head old's gonna kill me before anything I'm already at strength zero dex zero um, all right let's go out like a like a proper bird <laughs> We'll do a chuck. I'll try a couple more, but when it becomes obvious that it's just totally random, there's no real skill involved. I usually will switch things around. I, I don't enjoy that kind of play. Uh, world hack me resets. New game presets. Road roller hack me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meep, meep the third. One more frozen science lab. Oh crap, we're deep. That's just, that's bad. <laughs> One, two, three, we're three floors now. We've gotten deeper every single time. 
So what is it? Negative 130? Pass around. Negative 140. Eh, 130 to 150. Yeah, it's going to be... Better have stairs and then stairs immediately, otherwise we're done even that much quicker. Deft, rough skin, and the beak is back. Yeah, let's pick a direction. Hallway. Dissect a room won't have anything I need. Well, problem is I can't see... Uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. How much dancing can I do? And can I get some gear? <laughs> Good job, dudes. Didn't quite kill him. Ah, that dude didn't go in. <laughs> I was hopeful. We would have had some pretty good stuff, but they got a lucky grab off on me and just crushed me. That one could have been close if they hadn't gotten that grab off. That was down to uh, just the random movements of the zombies. I would have been able to get some clothing on at least, even if it was dirty. That's the only thing I can think of that's going to get me the gear. It's either a lucky, lucky uh, bedroom or it's going to be killing zombies exactly like that. But um, they just didn't do me the favor of moving properly. They screwed up the moving. <laughs> Death comes quick in this one. I figured it would be something like this. What are we up to? Meep Meep the fourth? Last try. I, I swear. Last one. Uh, meet Meep the Fourth, change the location. Yes. Uh oh, see? <laughs> one, two, three, four levels down. What the hell, game? You put me on level one, then you put me on level two, then you put me on level three, now you've put me on level four. <laughs> Negative 180. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not gonna bother with mutation. Well, I, I need to. I gotta I gotta do it. I need to keep it consistent. Uh one syringe. Come on. Bird suit. Perceptive and rough skin. That's great. We can see it coming. Two blankets. See? Two blankets. We're still going to die from the head damage from our mouth and our head. What? No Tonfa? This is the alternate 3x3 three three variant. Oh crap. Oh crap. Not good. No, I can't afford to wait either. And still. Ah, oh, didn't get him. Didn't get the door closed again. Oh! <laughs> I just stepped on a dissector. <laughs> With my head, apparently. <laughs> I stuffed my head into a dissector. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> good times. Good times. All right. I think we're going to have to bail off of this. This is too much. Ultra low hit points and all the other things. This is too much. Not for a nice lab escape. I've stacked it too deep. So let me remove the reference to the ice lab. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. 
We'll be here all day waiting for the perfect circumstances. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. That one there. Let's not say ultra low hit points. Let's say 18 max hit points. There we go. That sounds intimidating. All right, let's uh let's reset this. So that's new game, preset character, road roller, Acme. Uh, the ice lab, uh, the health is irrelevant, really. I could have 80 health, and I'd still be dying very, very, very quickly in the ice lab. It Ice lab escapes come down to just a couple of pretty much luck factors. Um, the, the cold will kill even a 200 hit point character because the temperature will immediately put you, well, immediately being like five minutes into the, stu into the run, you're at 25 speed, so you're moving at a quarter speed. And then anything you meet is going to be able to kill you. They're going to be swinging four times as fast. So it's the speed that's the problem. It's not really the hit points and the, the hit point damage from the cold. It's the uh, the speed effects. You will die of the cold if you stay alive long enough. But usually anything you meet will kill you before you, uh, you run out of hit points from the actual cold. I've done deep freeze and super deep freeze, lab escapes and so on before. Just not combining it with an ultra low hit point uh, character with all these other settings that I've got. So, uh, Meep Meep, what are we up to? Are we up to Meep Meep the fifth? Something like that? Yeah, it'd be nice if they would, but they don't. <laughs> Zombies work just fine, regardless of the temperature. Meep Meep the fifth. And uh, we're just going to go, if I say bottom of a science lab, that's also just rolling the dice because you end up in a lit room with turrets or security robots, or you don't. If you're in a lit room, usually you're dead unless you've got a, an interesting circumstance of uh, furniture and wall arrangements, but it's still a coin flip. There's not any strategy involved, really, so I'll sometimes pick it. Depends a lot on which which finale you get and is it lit. That's that's really the determination for whether you live or die. So it's random, random. It's it's not really any skill. Um, we could do the experimental cell, which is the the place the unwilling mutants usually start out. But um, we'll we'll try bottom. Let's try bottom. We'll see what happens. Just to show what I mean. <laughs> And so we can ratchet up the death count to meet me 10. Uh, so we're going to do bottom of the science lab, starting at the bottom floor in the finale room, usually. Let's see where we go. Excuse me? Oh, enter a lab finale room. <laughs> so we're not quite dead. It's shady light where I'm standing currently. Dark, very dark. I can survive it. That that robot can see me where I'm currently at. And he can't shoot me. Th uh, actually, I think he can shoot me through this. Are they still shooting through reinforced glass like it's not there? <laughs> I, I think they are. Yeah, that's mini nukes. So 44 mini nukes, 60 plutonium fuel cells, the ID card and the computer printout. So the mini nukes will keep me warm. Oh, there's no way I can rush the light. <laughs> I'm gonna make two steps. He's gonna fire at me before I get to that light, get to that ID card. What I'm trying to find out, the interface will lie to you about the lighting conditions and when you're gonna get shot. So anytime you're in a situation where there's something that has a gun and you're in an environment with variable lighting, do not believe the interface. You you will get shot. So it says shady where I'm at. Two spaces north of me is very dark, but I, I've demonstrated on camera too many times circumstances where the lighting is variable like this, and I was like five spaces back into very dark and was still getting shot and all sorts of stuff. So. The other problem is we got uh, no door to the north, no door to the west. 
So I could creep around and get out that door if there's no light over here. And maybe, possibly, even if there is light, um, get to that point, wait to refresh my action points, open door, and even if light spills through, I might have enough points to move twice to get uh, to break line of sight. The, uh, the, the optimum goal would be to get the ID card and then go north, back into the dark, circle around, and then go out this door. That would be the uh, the best way to go about things. Um, so we're going to see if I go back this way too. We're going to try to circle around. Unfortunately, it says dark, dark. Ouch. Very dark. See, I can't get... I can't get close enough to the ID card to grab it in one round without uh, possibly taking shots. So the zombie is going to get shot. I think he's closer to it. We could just run for the card and then try to pull back. Hopefully he shoots the zombie instead. All right. We'll go to run mode. Oh, I got to do... Well, see, I can't do the mutation thing here because if I summon it and take it, it takes time and he'll shoot me. <laughs> so we'll have to hold that until we're not in a you're going to die room. I think I am going to go... Due west. There's the dissectors. Why has he not started firing? Now we just need to get out of this room. Oops. Very dark ends right there. And it's, see, here's my example. He can see me right now. He is hostile and he sees me. I am... Two spaces back into the very dark, but he still got me in his in his sights. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, where it's it's just total bullcrap. <laughs> oh man, I don't have a lot of room to improve things, and I don't think I think he's going to continue to see me, likely regardless of where I go. So my choices are bum rush the door and hope he doesn't shoot me, which I think he will. Or try to pull back and hope he follows me. The problem being I'd have to go all the way around and this is not going to do either. Well, let's pull back. We're going to get shot. Hostile detected. Bill says it can see me. Hasn't fired yet. Yeah, see? <laughs> this is what I mean. Do not, do not, do not trust any situation where there's variable lighting. If he can see, if he's in the light, he seems to think he's allowed to see anything within his normal vision range. I don't know the actual rules behind this nonsense, but it's happened to me plenty enough, and I've shown it like this plenty enough, that um, it, it's broke. It's a lighting system vagary. Just take my word for it. If you have anything with a gun nearby and there is any variance in the light, treat it like the whole goddamn room is floodlit. That's how you have to handle it. Because otherwise, you will you will confidently be strolling in your very dark area and then taking a bullet to the head or a bullet to the torso. And then you're going to be cursing and going, God damn it, Warm was right. This is broken. <laughs> All right. Uh, watch the last minute of your life? No. So that was unfortunate. But that's that's the example of it's just a coin flip when you do that kind of a start. No real skill involved as long as you understand how the lighting system is supposed to work and your movement rates and all that. So you live or die by where it puts you and what kind of light and enemy you have. Uh, sixth floor? Is that where we're at now? <laughs> uh, did I reset? I lost track. <laughs> All right. Meep, meep, the sixth. Uh, 
We'll do one more on the bottom, and then we're gonna go just uh, whatever. I don't even want to say random. We'll see what they give us one more time. Is it lit? It is. Oh, we're gonna get flaming eyed to death. <laughs> we got the the most useless finale. Okay. That is a lot of flaming eyes. We are going to have what? They're going to summon ten, hands of Tindalos on me and we're going to die from the hounds. Run mode. No door to the north. Grab the ID card. 